Hey, hey, let's talk about the tomato girl makeup trend that is going viral. On all social media platforms, it is a big hit this summer. And it can also be taken into other seasons too. But what is this tomato girl trend? <laughs> okay, so I lived in Italy for two years. We lived an hour and a half south of the Amalfi Coast. And the Amalfi Coast is as beautiful and charming as the pictures and the movies depict it. It is just one of my very favorite places. I love the Amalfi Coast. I love Positano especially. Just so dreamy. I just, ugh, I feel like I'm in a movie when I'm there. And so the tomato girl aesthetic encompasses the Italian coastline, the Amalfi Coast and all the other Mediterranean coastal cities. It is basically, it includes the colors of the fresh, ripe tomatoes growing on the vines. It includes like the greens of the gardens that you see. It includes blues of the sea, just those natural colors mixed with some neutrals like tans and black and white, just very crisp and clean and chic. And then with the um, with style, it also encompasses like stripes, ruffles, linen, cotton, easy breezy, but feminine and effortlessly chic looks. So how can we take that tomato girl aesthetic and make it into that makeup look? So when we're talking about makeup and the tomato girl trend, tomato girl makeup is all about um, picturing yourself like spending the day on the beach, on a beautiful Amalfi Coast beach. Some of them are pebble beaches, some of them are um, sandy beaches, but they all have those Lido's where they're um, they have umbrellas that all match, so you have to pay to go to a Lido and you, you pay to use a, a chair for the day and an umbrella. And so it's just, it's just so chic and so, ah, so beautiful. So you spend the day on the beach, you're lounging in your, in your chair and your fun colored umbrella, and you're, you know, getting into the water, the warm sea water when you need a little bit of refreshing and you have just been sun kissed all day long. And then let's say you have some dinner plans. So you're taking that feel of the beach of the Mediterranean Sea and you've gotten sun-kissed glow and you have to get ready for dinner really quickly. So that makeup look is going to be really simple. It's going to make it look like you have just been out in the sun all day. You're going to have some rosy cheeks, a little bit of mascara, and a little bit of glow. And so let's see how we can take that tomato girl aesthetic and make it into an easy achievable makeup look that you can do in your home, okay? So you don't have to be on the Mediterranean Sea and the Amalfi Coast to appreciate this trend. You can do it in your own home. So what you need to do is you need to start with a clean face. As always, when you do your makeup, clean your face, prep it with a cleanser, toner. If you want to do um, moisturizer, if you have really dry skin, I skip the moisturizer and the primer and I only do sunscreen. So like sunscreen kind of encompasses all three. It's a moisturizer. It's it protects my face and also primes my face. So this is my favorite sunscreen that I like to put on my face a good 15 minutes before I apply my makeup and then do a light layer of foundation. So whatever you use for your foundation, whether that's a BB cream, um, a tinted moisturizer or a foundation, do something that's light coverage, um, but that will give you still give you an even skin tone. So that's what you wanna start with your base is a nice even skin tone, clean face, and then let's go from there to achieve this tomato girl makeup look. So what we're gonna to use today, we're gonna to use some cream bronzer, cream blush, some cream illuminator, and a natural nude lip, okay? Very simple, simple things you can add into your makeup routine that you currently have, okay? So I'm gonna start with the bronzer. We have just been lounging at the Lido's with our um, beautiful umbrellas and we have been in the sun all day and so we want to add that sun-kissed glow to our face. So when applying bronzer, you want to focus on the highest points of your face that would naturally get kissed by the sun. So the highest points would be your nose, um, this part on your forehead that sticks out the most, your cheekbones, your cheek and your chin. That's where you want to apply cream bronzer. And the reason why I love cream bronzer is because it just is more natural. There are so many bronzers on the market that um, look 
make you look like an Oompa Loompa because they're too orange and powdery. And cream bronzer is, it just applies better, it blends better, it looks more natural. And this, this shade especially, I love Bella. I feel like Bella cream bronzer is a very um, universal brown that does not look orangey on people. So it just adds a nice sunkissed glow without making it look too orange. So apply that on the highest points of your face. So I'm doing my nose, my forehead, and apply as little or as much as you want. I believe in building. So apply a little bit and then always add. It's always easier to add more than it is to take away. So this look, we're not doing a contoured. It's not a chiseled contoured look. It is like I have five or 10 minutes to put myself together to get ready for dinner. And so you wanna have that beautiful coverage, but then not look so chiseled and perfect for this tomato girl look, okay? So just apply as much as you want until you get the color that you are going for. I'm just tapping and pressing and patting it onto my face. I'm trying to get that sunkissed glow Make it look like I have been out in the sun all day and I just, I look nice and tan, okay? So as much or as little as you want with your bronzer. Now we're gonna go in with a rosy cheek. Now depending on your skin tone, if you have a warmer skin tone, then try to go for a red that is more orangey. If you have a cooler skin tone, then choose a red that has a little bit more blues in it. So I have a cooler skin tone, so I'm using a red that has a little bit more blue in it, and so it will just go well with my skin. So I'm going to use this one right here, and this is very pigmented. So a little goes a long way. I'm just gonna do a little bit first, and then we'll add more. So I'm gonna put it right on the apples of my cheek. And with this Tomato Girl makeup, you actually wanna go for rosier than normal. So you do it on the apples of your cheek and then blend it into your cheekbone, into your uh, where your bronzer is. And then you can also even add it along your nose if you want to a little bit and then do it on the other side too. So start with a little bit and then take a step back to see how much you've applied and see if you need more. So this is just giving you that that vibe of I have I have just, I have this beautiful flush from being in the sun. It's almost like a little bit of a sunburn, but not like oh my gosh, she looks like she she's in pain. But more of a beautiful. I meant to get a little bit rosy on purpose, and it adds a little bit of color. So add as much or as little as you want. Just kind of keep playing around with it until you achieve the look that you're going for. So you just really wanna focus on the apples of your cheek, just like through this area, almost like a small W on your face, um, getting that rosiness until you get the look that you want, okay? So now we're gonna add some beautiful glow. I love Illuminator because it is just adding a pretty shimmer to your face that's not sparkly, but just a nice hint of glow that when the light or the sun hits that, it just gives you a nice shimmer. It's almost like a reverse contour. It gives you a little bit of depth and dimension on top of your cheekbone. So right there. So isn't that pretty? If it's just kind of the light hits it, it just adds a nice pretty glow. So put that right on top of your cheekbone You can also put it on the bow of your lip for a little bit of dimension. You can also put it on the tip of your nose. And we are gonna put it on underneath our, uh, underneath our brow. And I'm gonna go back with my bronzer in a second. And we're gonna add a little bit of bronzer to the eyelids so that it gives, makes it look like you're wearing a little bit of um, a little bit of eyeshadow but it's not in your face so this bronzer will add a little bit of dimension a little bit of color onto your eyelid without making it look too heavy again add as much or as little as you want just 
go in small, um, add in small increments so that you can build until you get that look that you want. So I'm just taking that and swiping it right in my crease and kind of focusing on the outer corner. So light layer that just adds a little bit of dimension. And then again, you can go back over and do a little bit of that illuminator underneath your brow and on the inner corner of your eye. It's just nice, light, airy, beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna use, since we did a rosier cheek, we're gonna use a more soft and natural lip. So choose a color that just makes a soft color on your lips. It just adds a little bit of color, but it's not too contrasting and too bold, too dramatic. Okay, so really simple. Soft lips, rosy cheeks. You got some bronzed sunkiss glow going on. If you, at this point, if you kind of want to sit back and look, you can add a little bit more rosiness. Okay, now the last step is our eyelashes. Eyelashes are always a great part, a great way to make you look feminine and finish your look off. If you have only mascara on, you already look put together. So just do a couple curls with your eyelash curler. And then here's the thing, you don't, for this look, you do not want a heavy, dramatic eye. Again, it's like you have five or 10 minutes to put some makeup on really quickly if you're gonna go to dinner. So you don't have a lot of time to do like five layers of mascara. This is a just a quick one layer of mascara to make those lashes look more feminine, but not heavy and not dramatic. So choose a good mascara. A good mascara is key. You don't want one that's cheapy, one that will smear and that need, that requires you to have like 10 layers in order for it to actually look good. A good mascara really only, you only need like one layer. This is one of my favorites. This is Thrive. I've been using it for years and it's really good. It's not waterproof, but it's a tubular mascara that is pretty, pretty tough when it comes to being around the water. Like you can get splashed. You can even go swimming. As long as you don't rub your eyes, um, your mascara will stay. So do a light layer on those lashes. And then you are almost good to go. Okay. I feel like I need a little bit more blush. It's good to do it in steps, remember, so you can kind of take a step back, see if you need more. And if you need more bronzer, if you need more illuminator, just add it more. So add a little bit more as you feel like you have the look. And there you have a simple, easy tomato girl aesthetic. I've just used bronzer, bronzer, blush, illuminator, and a lip color for this simple tomato girl makeup look. It's a fun summer trend that really helps you channel your Mediterranean love. If you can't go there in person, then bring it to you wherever you are and just enjoy it. So let me know if you have any questions. I will have all of the things that I used in the description and have fun with it. Makeup is a fun way to be creative and try something new to bring out your natural beauty and feel good so that you can do good. Okay, ciao.